Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Theo. And it's safe. So, we got Joe Rogan, uh, we got Shane Gillis, and what his name? Matt. I don't know his last name. This is my first time. <laughs> or this is going to be our first time listening to him and everything. Okay. I'm sure y'all know him. But they talking about Howard Stern. He was the man. But well, yeah. now he's woke. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, so I was trying to uh, think of a few Howard Stern moments ever, and I don't remember. It's like, more so when I think about it, Think about how it's starting to think about like all the freaks he had on his show back in the day and like how the teenager tried to click over to see what was going on while I was all right y'all let's go ahead and get into the video. <laughs> I that's, was like curious what you about to say. That's what I thought about. And I used to think how it's starting and slash looked a little similar, but I used to think that too. Yeah, I thought they were brothers, but now that I now that we got like H D uh cameras and, and YouTube. Not, not YouTube but Google and stuff, yeah, yeah. I, I was wrong. I don't know what I was on, but y'all let's get into it. That is well, terrifying. A you... lot of people can't think of themselves. Yeah. And all, not only that, but they've had jobs where they've been forced to, like, all day, every day, follow the rules, you know, listen to the boss, be told when to show up, what to do, and yeah. you just get into this drone mindset. And then there, be, there becomes an ideology that everybody in your business shares. And you have to share that ideology or you get pushed out into the yeah. fringes of the yeah. social group. Mm -hmm. That's a, so, yeah. the attachment stuff fucks people up. It fucks people up. And then, you know, they say, well, a good way to get brownie points is to tell people I protested. I protested. Yeah. <laughs> Show up. Let everybody know. I'm with the cause. Yeah, that was the, the Milgram experiments were fucked up. Like, two-thirds of the people just let him shot. They were like, yeah, I'll just shock this guy. Near, what is the was, Milgram experience? That was the one where they were like, the guy in a lab coat would be like, turn up the voltage now. Mm. Torn, like a yeah, guy, they, oh, be a guy right, another, right. as an authority they, figure, he'd be like, turn it up now. And then they'd be like, the guy would be like, no, hell, please, it hurts. And the guys, the people would be like sweating mm -hmm. and like... They didn't want to do it on some level, but for some reason they just kept obeying this guy. Like if he was like an authority figure, being oh, like, do it, a lab coat. do it now. Yeah, <laughs> you must do that. That's he didn't yell or anything, but you must but, do this. Yeah. They're like, fuck, man, and they were like, and only like two thirds. I think only I think a third of the people went like, fuck this, dude, this is fucked up. Yeah, they would make it so the guy in the other room would pass out or die. Yeah, like he would go from screaming and screaming and screaming, and then towards the end the guy would be silent, and he'd be like, shock him again. And they, these people off the street would be like. <laughs> yeah. It was like an overwhelming amount of people would just obey this guy, mindlessly yeah. obey the authority crazy. figure. Do you think that's some program shit from back when we were hunter gatherers? Probably. Just follow rules. You yeah. listen to yeah. the chief. Probably, because yeah, if you got Probably. kicked, if you got kicked out, you would die. If they're like, yeah. yo, buzz off, you would die. Yeah, there's a thing that people have where they they look to authority. That's why the the Trump thing was so interesting, because like he's like this big larger than life character that has confidence mm -hmm. and he's yeah. telling you what's going on i'm your leader i'm the best leader best one you've ever had <laughs> and he's doing this and he's and everybody's like yes <laughs> and you find out like the problems with the education system the chickens yeah. have come home to roost oh yeah motherfucker. oh yeah because there's a, there's millions of dummies millions yeah. and millions and millions and millions and millions of dummies mm -hmm. in this country yeah. It's Just, fucked up. There, they would take so much to boost them out of dummyhood. <laughs> so much. Yeah, you can't. You can exploit them. You have to do kids. You can't take adults and, like, shatter their worldview or be like, two things can be true simultaneously. The average is going to go, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? Some adults can handle it. Some adults can grow. But it's hard to grow when you're working all day. And if you're working all day in a place where you have to follow the rules and you have to, like, that stay in that mindset that we're yeah. talking about and be a part of that ideology... Very hard to stray outside of it. Yeah. Because who are you going to tell? Who are you going to pull aside? You know, if you're, yeah. if you're in one of those right-wing Christian groups and, you know, and you, you go, well, maybe if someone gets raped, they shouldn't have to carry a kid. Yeah. And then they all surround you. Yeah. You're talking about murdering. Murdering an yeah. innocent human life. Yeah. Murdering. Yeah. Your whole family is being like, we're going to fuck yeah. you up. It's like yeah. the fucking uh, the on. Westboro yeah. chick that got out of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's on, yeah. She was on this. She yes. was on fucking... Howard Stern's Hollywood Squares. Really? It's one of my mm -hmm. favorite things. You ever see those Hollywood Squares? <laughs> no. It was the Megan funniest. Phelps was on that? Yeah, it was the Phelps. I think their block was uh, gay haters. It was like them. It was like oh, and she got Gilbert out. Gottfried, yeah. Daniel Carver. Yeah. One block was just called The Retards. It was, <laughs> I mean, it was nuts. Yeah, that shit was wild. <laughs> it's, look, what he did, I mean, look, people to this day, they make fun of Howard Stern because of who he is now and the, the way he behaves now. That guy's the man. He yeah. was the fucking pioneer. When he was the king of all media, yeah. and he was telling everybody to suck his dick, and it, the, the FCC was going after him, the government was fining him. Yeah. 
They were finding his businesses fucking millions of dollars. Yeah. I didn't know that. And he was out there doing wild shit yeah. on the he radio. He was putting a Klansman on with fucking Young Thug. Or, and not now, young thug, and well, now uh, he's woke. It's Miami. crazy. Trick Daddy? Trick Daddy. Yeah, what? yeah he has to be, though, because, dude, the skeleton's that guy. <laughs> yeah, look at this. God hates. Oh, and she. No, there's also Hollywood Squares, but yes. Okay. They used to bring them back all the time. You know what's interesting? Damn, I want to watch. That when you talk to <laughs> Megan Phelps, this woman who left the Westboro Baptist Church, and you know she wrote a book, and she's so kind, like so normal and interesting, and she realized she had to get out, and she got out by meeting a guy on Twitter. Yeah. Some guy on Twitter was like arguing back and forth with her, and so she engages with this guy, and they start having like civil conversations, and then they meet, and they wind up marrying. Oh what? wow! Yeah. I mean, she's a little. With it. She's very nice, That's man. That's Bonk City, dude. Yeah, but dude, she's she very was, nice. Unfortunately, if you for met her, her she's, she's super pretty nice. lady. Nice, she's pretty. Yeah. She's smart. But she was raised in the Westboro Baptist Church. Yeah. Like that takes the the that this for her to get out of that takes. That's crazy. Well, Nuts. she knew it was yeah, nice would be to sink She in. was confronted yeah. by actual biblical rocks. lessons. This guy would like confront her with like actual oh. biblical stuff. So, like this is not what God said. This is not what it's in the Bible. Like what they're doing, what Fred yeah. Phelps is doing, is wrong. It's it's against Jesus's teaching, and she's like showing. He's Damn! Showing. Yeah. And then he smashed. Nice. He probably got married first. For sure. Almost no, <laughs> they, they better than that. How nice. He was butting her up with the proverbs, How nice dude. Was that <laughs> baby, baby, baby. Dude, while they're fucking just like Glacious. song of songs. <laughs> <laughs> Eight, thirteen. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool that he did that. He got her out. Yeah, you could get sucked into anything. If you're in it when you're young, you get indoctrinated. I mean, that's how every fucking cult does it. Yeah. You know, there's there's so many of them that can do it. They just, voice of authority. It just, this is the rules. Everybody follows the rules, you know? Yeah. Like, so you know you're drinking the fucking Kool-Aid. Drinking. You're yeah. literally yeah. like, literally all right, well, fuck it. Everyone else here is killing yeah. themselves. They got young kids badly, though. Because they somehow kids. hijacked the definition of being cool. And it's like, you got to love government and big corporations, and then you're cool. Uh, you know, all the other kids now, a lot of them are fucking warped on it. Yeah. Dude, I don't think that's sustainable. They're going to get their their dreams shattered you know, <laughs> over yeah. and over and over again, and they're going to come out of it on the other side and realize they got fucked. Yeah. But the, the putting your faith in the pharmaceutical drug companies and the government. And, Dude. And then this the the climate crisis crew that's trying to make money off that all of it is just like you what do you what you're carrying water for people that have been stealing money forever. Forever and ever and ever on both sides. On both sides. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. It's fucked for up. For fucking sure. It's fucked They're up. They're all dirty. That's why it's interesting when you watch this Biden thing. It's like, oh, the machine's in motion. Mm. Oh, with the, the oh, machine with to get rid of them is in motion. Good. All they got to do to get rid of him is let him give an interview. <laughs> well, they're letting him talk It'll now. It'll be gone. They're letting him do yeah. this now. They were, they were hiding uh -huh. him through the entire, uh, you know, like during the presidential campaign. Remember when he was hiding? Yeah. yeah. Basically hiding. He did one Adderalled up debate. Trump dog was Adderalled up in the first one. They're all Adderalled up. Trump dog was Adderalled up. Yeah. He wouldn't shut the fuck up. All yeah. he had to do to win the debate was shut the uh, fuck yeah. up Biden, dude. and let Biden talk. And he, he did a great job in the second, second one. Second one he dominated. First it was too one, late. It was too late. It was too late. It was too late. He acted like a fucking asshole yep. in the first one. Yep. And the whole country saw it. Yep. Yeah, it's I was watching it like, dude, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, let he, Biden not be able to talk. It's That's all you have to do. He just make facial expressions. He could have just went. <laughs> the problem <laughs> also, this is the real problem. The debate debate format is ridiculous. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm Spe sorry. Well, speaking of Adderall, real quick, this is like off topic but on topic. So I was talking to my coworker the other day, and she was saying how um, her fiance said he was like trying to pick up his like Adderall prescription, yeah, and how he hasn't been able to get it either. He wasn't able to get it, and then somebody else she knows, they haven't been able to get it since, like, November. Like, they're saying it's, like, sold out or something, like, along those lines. Um, I don't know, because on one of these clips, obviously, we ain't watched this one. I had uh, watched a different one. Mm -hmm. And he said, uh, you know, Shane Gillis, but that might have been back in the day, I think, though. He was saying everybody he'd be around always uh, have Adderall. They always own it, you know, or be, like, on higher doses and all that different stuff like that. Well, like, they literally can't pick up their prescription. Like, they're saying that it's, like, out. What, so what y'all did, did with the meth? I what y'all did with the meth? <laughs> 
Well, I'm like, I'm, it's, it's interesting because I feel like a lot of stuff that probably was like talked about on TikTok that people didn't believe. Mm -hmm. Like, I felt like there was something on there where it was saying like different medicines was going to run out and then like egg prices were going to go up. Like, and like different, um, Food prices were gonna go up. It's gonna be like a shortage of. Like, I remember all that. Right, but, and it's kind of come. Some of the things, not all, but some shoot. of the things are coming to fruition. Hold on, y'all. Well, uh, we'll see, y'all. Yeah. Peace.